Evening folks, Clayton here again from about time fishing and exploring. Um, tonight I'm going to show you uh, a little version of something that I do and make for myself uh, rather than just going and buying them off the shelf, which you can do. Most tackle shops have got them readily available and they don't cost a lot, but for me I find it more fun to make my own and experiment and play. Uh, now these do work, they work very well and you can basically make them out of anything you choose. And tonight we will be making a knife jig. So to start with you'll need some multi-strand wire. I use about 130 pound, something fairly heavy because we've got some big toothies up here in Cairns, Queensland. Um, and it holds up pretty well. You will also need plastic skirt, some good hooks, circle hooks, I use roughly a 10 -0. Um I find it to be about the best size for me throughout the reef region here but depending on uh, what size fish you're targeting of course change your different hook size. You will need some crimps for your multi-strand wire, you will need some split rings only a couple and the most important thing that you'll need make sure your missus isn't around plug a knife out of a drawer take it out the back drill a hole in the top of it get your grinder and just grind the edge off of it so it's not sharp that's your knife jig made from stainless steel they work pretty well you can also if you don't want to pinch one out of your wife's drawer Go to your op shops. You normally find your op shops have got uh, this sort of thing for sale, very, very cheap, and you can buy a big heap of them. Different sizes, different shapes. They all work just as well. So, to start with, we're gonna start with our hook end, and we're gonna grab crimp. Just slide it on our wire. Of course, this one has to have a bird end, so it makes it pretty difficult. Now with your wire, you want it to just come through. With all of this tonight, I'll take some still shots and I'll put them up after with the description of what the still shots are and how they play into uh, the various parts of the setup. So I'm just gonna grab my pliers and I'm just gonna pull that down a little bit more. I just want it to be nice and snug. Still leave a little bit of a loop there so your hook spins freely. Grab my crimp and pliers now. Just give it a good crimp, send it home. Okay, that's your hook on. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our little plumber's plug or builder's plug. We're gonna insert that on the wire. And then we're just gonna push our wire into our little plastic jig. What happens is that little plumber's plug sits in there and you push that up into the head of the plastic skirt and that holds that in there nice and still. And you will see the barb of the hook is roughly in line with the skirt, just holds it out. Once again, just gonna get one more little crimp. Put him on there. You only need a tiny little bit of wire for each of these, so a great big roll will last you a hell of a long time. And uh, all up, if you, all the wire and um, crimps and everything I bought here cost me about 55, 60 dollars. 
and buy yourself some uh, skirts you're probably looking around about a hundred bucks all up and um, they work out roughly to about a dollar fifty two dollars a night jig so it's pretty cheap really once again just crimp that home Okay, that's basically our hook in. Next thing we need is our split rings. To make this really nice and easy, you don't need a set of split ring pliers because we're going to use the end of the knife. Just put that straight in there. Find your hole. Just like that, and you've pried it open. Get the end of your loop, put that on there as well. And just work it round. I'll grab my pliers again, makes things a little bit easier. Just work it round. And there you have it. One very simple, easy to make knife jig. And like I said, they don't cost a fortune. You can make them yourself. If you don't want to use a knife, you can use a piece of steel. Uh, an old tent peg even, you can drill a hole in them. Different sorts of skirts, different length skirts, different sizes to make them longer and bigger more weight for me this here around our local reefs is great because i fish about 20 meters of water it's fairly light i don't like fishing when there's a lot of run but this gets it down on the bottom fairly easy to pull up and they do they work very well so that's my interpretation of the homemade knife jig they do work like i said feel free to try and make them out i've put some Still photos on the end of the video, like I said, with all the steps through. So uh, if you'd like more of this sort of thing, please get on my Facebook page at About Time Fishing Exploring, all my YouTube videos under the same name, and leave a comment, thumbs up, and please hit the subscribe button. The more members I can get on the page, the more things I can do for you guys. And the more of this sort of thing I can bring out. Uh, if there is anything else that you would like to see, please leave a comment and I'll see if I can get something out to you. Um, I have a very fast knowledge of fishing. Uh, my background is worked on the marlin boats. I uh, also worked on the trout boats and as a professional cray diver for some years. I'm no expert. I don't know everything, but I know a lot. And like a lot of people in this world, I wouldn't have got anywhere if people hadn't helped me. So for me, this is more about me helping you guys. So please, if you need a hand with anything, if you don't understand something, leave me a comment, ask a question, and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if there's something in particular that you're interested in, either in the marlin industry or fishing industry, uh, leave a question and I'll see about bringing out a video if I can. In the meantime, enjoy yourself, be safe, watch the weather, which is terrible up here at the moment, it's pissing down rain, excuse my language. Since why I can't do any fiberglass on the boat, but uh, that's why I'm doing this sort of thing tonight. And there'll be some more videos coming out very, very soon. Thanks again, you're watching Clayton from About Time, Fishing and Exploring.